Welcome back to Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Last time, I said I wanted to go to Pharos. I thought I'd do some shopping first, and we have a Conrad Werner. Hey, there are rumors on the extranet that you've been made the first human specter. That's incredible. Being a specter is a big responsibility. I just want to make humanity proud. The vids are all talking about Commander Shepard fighting for all of us back home. And your grace and skill have inspired a whole legion of admirers, too. Hey, can I get your picture? Sure, why not? I don't have a problem with it, but why? Are you kidding? Nobody will believe that I talked with the beautiful Commander Shepard unless I get a picture. Just hold up your gun. Perfect. <laughs> Thanks again, Commander. I'm gonna hang this in my living room. My wife will love it. Uh-huh. Yeah, Conrad doesn't stay married. Um, when you see him all the way through to Mass Effect 3. Um, no matter what you did in the original Mass Effect, when you met up with him in Mass Effect 2, he acted like you were the renegade shepherd. Um, even if you weren't. So I'm wondering if they fixed that. We will find out. But first, back to the Normandy. All right, had a quick scan of the system. Let's get down onto Ferris. Alright, Pharos. We know most of the things that we're going up against are going to be Geth, so Tally is a must. And as for the things that aren't Geth, we probably want Rex. Alright, we'll get greeted by David Al Talakani. Don't know if he had or had a name in the original version. If he did, never learned it because uh, this guy doesn't last long. He's our leader. He needs your help to prepare for the Geth. They are making another push. Please, up the stairs past the freighter. Look out! Yeah, that's how long he usually lasts. Um. So. Let's get rid of their shields there. I know there's snipers in the back. Rex, can you, like, go over there? Just kind of draw fire. Tally, how about you uh, grab that for us? Something else shooting at us. Kind of surprised my blast didn't get that one. Oh, they're shooting at us from over there. Okay. Okay, there's snipers in this group. I don't know what that one's doing. You just want to stand there. It's fine by me. Oh, there's Sniper! I don't know if this box is going to last very long. Hey, Tali, how about you grab that sniper for us? Alright, that worked out fairly well. Just probably this one last shock trooper here. Oh, and then jam means we got jumpy bastards coming up. Okay, let's go see them get introduced for like the third time. Yep, they jump. What's with the wall?
Okay. That needs to get thrown now. See, once they get biotic id a bit, they're not so bad. Oh, yep, that was not where I should have aimed. Where are you gonna go? I can probably lift you from there. There we go. Alright. Just the two, I think. That's the last of them. Tally agrees. Head to the tunnels. Make sure they're secure. Sure thing. What if I find Gatlin? Oh, you weren't talking to me. <laughs> Door. I don't think we'll talk to me yet. Um, none of the people with quests will talk to me yet. I just have to go talk to Fidan. Oh, Commander. I'm glad they finally sent somebody to help us. You're a bit late, aren't you? Arcelia. Sorry, Commander. Everyone's on edge since. Watch out! We've got gas in the tower! Not for long. Protect the heart of the colony! What's this guy doing creeping? Rex, just go over there. That's a sniper, so we want that. Ideally on our side. Yeah, Tally. Give us that one. That sniper almost got a lucky shot. Rex, go over there. See, Rex can do it all. Except when you get stuck behind a shield. That was a strategy I've never seen before. Okay, let's get you out of the door. You... Oh, guess I gotta lift you. Okay, I guess that was it. Um, where are we headed? This way. This is kind of a tough fight. Sure. Fun is a word. Okay, tell- nope. Can't grab one if it's behind the thing. That's why we have shield boost, Shepard. I don't want to go too far, because drones are going to drop in from above. Yep, here they come. Is that a rocket? Well, there's a sniper back there. I don't like that at all. Um, yep. Yep. Okay, where's the drones? Now, how about that sniper? Now I'm not going to be able to see it. If we could get one of these on side, that would be great. Did you get it, Tally? Yes, you did. There was a destroyer in this group. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to pistol snipe you. All 
right? Okay. Now the destroyer is here, I think. Well, you're running like a destroyer. You're shooting cartage is like a destroyer. Could we hack you? Yep. Go get them! You're- No! You're supposed to be hacked. Uh, I don't know why that doesn't work sometimes. I would very much like that hacking back tally. I think we need to try this again. No, that one. That one's dead. You know what? Just kill him. See? Oh, oh. I missed you. Go away. Alright. Yep, shit moves on. Indeed. First, we have to solve all their problems, though. Good news! Geth are dead. At least those ones are. The tower's secure. Thanks to you, Commander. I'm just glad your colony's safe. I appreciate your concern and your efforts against the Geth. They may have been slowed, but they'll be back. They always come back. Help me find what the Geth are after, and you'll all get out of here alive. We don't know what they're after. They came, they attacked us, that's all we know. Their main base is at the Exogeny headquarters. A good place to start looking if you want answers. What's Exogeny? It's the company most of us work for before the attacks. They fund this colony. The Skyway leads directly to Exogeny headquarters. You can't miss it. Of course, there's an army of Geth between here and there. I didn't expect this would be easy. Then maybe I can get this colony operational again. What do you need done to get this place back on its feet? We need those Geth destroyed. Arcelia's right. There are still Geth in the tunnels. We also have more mundane problems like food, water, and power. I'm not sure where we stand on those matters. You should talk to the people overseeing them. Do you have information about Geth in the lower tunnels? Nothing new. They're in the tunnel somewhere, likely guarding a transmitter to coordinate attacks. It's not a critical threat right now, but getting rid of that transmitter will help us defend against further attacks. And all the other people that are in charge of these things are better to talk to about them, so... Let's talk about Zeus, Hope, and Pharos in general. Of course, Commander. Um... Tell me about your colony. Life is hard and often brutal, even without our current problems. Colonial affairs back on Earth told us we'd be beneath the notice of any raiders. I guess they weren't counting on the Geth. But, despite everything, there's something tranquil about this place, unlike anything I've experienced before. How big was the original Pharos colony? We were nearly a thousand at the main site, 200 more at my outpost. When the first wave obliterated our defenses, we fell back to Zeus Hope. The Normandy isn't huge, but we could airlift you out. The Geth fighters are too dangerous, and I won't be driven off this world. It is our home. There's a chance for growth here that's simply not available on other worlds. Um, what can you tell me about the base? What can you tell me about the defenses the Geth have set up? I don't have any details, but I'll wager it's a lot more fortified than the command post. They landed at least one Geth ship at Exogeny, and I've seen large walking tanks on the Skyway. Expect a hard fight. I have my own tank. What else can you tell me about Exogeny? Exogeny funded this colony. Without them, we wouldn't be stuck here. They specialize in colonization. In return for bankrolling the colony, we work for them. Their main goal is the retrieval of valuable artifacts or resources. Except there isn't anything here. Or if there is, we didn't find it. I wonder if that's what the Geth are looking for. Perhaps. As she said, we never found anything of value. Of course, the Geth could know something we don't. All right. That's I'll talk to you pretty much everything more. useful that they can tell me. Let's go find all the side quests. One is this guy. There, there. 
You're the one who repelled that last wave. They'll be back. And if the Geth don't kill us, we'll die of hunger soon enough. Are you doing anything to remedy the situation? I need to boost rations with Varen meat, but it's too dangerous. The Alpha Varen, he's huge and he's mad. Rabid, maybe. Totally uncontrollable. I can't do anything until he's dead. I have a ship. I could bring in supplies from off-world. I'd rather you concentrated on the Geth. Food won't help us if they breach our defenses. Tell me about hunting Varen. Hunting them is impossible while fending off the Geth. On the positive side, they'll attack anything, even those damn synthetics. I get it. There's the Geth. I'll Varen kill them. The real problem. He's mad, erratic, completely unpredictable. Um, none of this is anything interesting. I have to go. So long. Me, you want to talk about power? Nice work with those Geth. Glad you showed up. I still need the power cells for this generator, though. Would it help if I brought in some power cells from the Normandy? We can certainly spare a few. The top of the line ship doesn't use the same parts as the old generator we've got. The cells just aren't compatible. If I find anything while I'm looking around, I'll send it your way. Thank you, Commander. I appreciate it. And you want to talk about water. I'm sorry, but I can't stop to talk. I have to deal with the water shortage. Is there anything I can do? The utilities building was one of the first to fall under Geth control. Find the mains and turn them back on. Until then, this colony is dry. Shepard just really wants to show off that she has a ship that can bring things. I have a ship fueled and ready to go. I could bring water in. Unless you plan to make a trip every few days, that wouldn't really solve our problem. We need to be self-sufficient. I have to go. I wish you luck. Okay, that's all three side quests. I will talk to the store real quick, and then we'll go down in the tunnels. Commander, I was told to make my supplies available to you, if you wish. Let me see what you have. Of course. I may be able to provide a few interesting items. Okay, so this shop has a Halliot armory license. Isn't Halliot that guy that tried to trap us with the nuke satellite thing? It is, right? Okay, so that's the elevator that takes us tip to the highway, but we gotta go down the tunnels over here to solve all their problems. And watch this lady get shot. At least I thought there was a lady that was gonna get shot. Um, did they take that out? Oh God, they're everywhere. Nope, there she is. Oh, there's drones down here. I don't know if those... Were those always down here? Tally, if you wouldn't mind. Just shot Tally in the back. Okay, you don't want to be our friend. So... Alright, I guess it was just those three. So, down in the tunnels here, we just follow this little drainage thing. Um, yeah, there's Geth in these tunnels here. Quite a few, in fact. Listen. You can just stop. There we go. There's someone that wants to be hacked. Is that one down? I think that one's down. And then I think there's a sniper or another shock trooper in the back here. Or not. And I probably missed a water coupling thingy. Yep. This valve looks like part of a large system. There are likely others we need to activate as well. Indeed. There's another one here. Doesn't look like it's on yet. We should keep looking. Now, the Alpha Varen's in there. Um or is it? Yes it is. Okay, 
Let's do this. Now I wonder if they're still glitched. So in the original, they couldn't come past this point. Yep, still looks like they can't come out here. So if we just go kind of close, they'll, they'll come close to us, but they won't come beyond the door. Come on. Come on. Get down here. Just do your little dance, your little circle dance. There we go. Which leaves the alpha up there. Anytime you want to come down. Okay, let's give it a throw. There we go. Ball's dead, real the slugs. Yeah, kind of. Alright, that's one side quest taken care of. Take care of another one right up here. First looting. Ooh, a high explosive for the grenade. And the power cells that we need. And an autosave that kind of froze the game for a second. Cool! Onward we go. So, back down in the tunnels over here. More geth. Yeah, yeah, I see you. Destroyer, eh? Now, if we could just get that destroyer on side, that would be great. Tally? How about it? And it's just running... Actually, I think it's fighting another Geth. And now it's gonna fight us. Because it doesn't feel like getting this other Geth in the back here. Wherever you are. Yeah, I know, you're a sniper. Shotgun beats sniper, apparently. At least at that range. Um. Oh, I definitely missed a water valve on the other side here. Should be the last one. Yep. Nobody said anything about it. Oh, there you go, Tally. Alright, do we want to speak to Ian? Sure. He'll spawn in a couple more geth anyway. You don't want to go down there. What are you doing down here? Nothing I should be. Anything I shouldn't. No! What's the matter with you? Just invoking the master's whip. Helps remind me I'm still alive. For now. You're here for the geth, aren't you? You're not the only one interested in those things. Who else is looking for the geth? Not looking for. Looking to get rid of. They're a thorn in the side of the- ah! I'm trying to get to the- Dying! This one is no longer fit. We should leave him. Is there anything I can do to help you? Do you even want help? Help me? No. No one can help me now. I'd rather die fighting! Fighting what? <laughs> Not that kind of fight. It's like running through a thorn bush. The more you struggle, Time's up. Company's coming. Ask my dad. Ask him about the. Ah! 
And there's just there's two geth behind us. Pretty sure that overload missed. Yep. Um, how about sabotage? I think that worked eventually. Get out of here. Oh yeah. So now we just gotta find the Geth transmitter, which I always screw up. So yeah, it's this door right here, which is right across from the Alpha Varen fight. Don't know why I can never remember that. Also, there's red pips, which is cool. Snipers. Um, just throw them down from there, quite frankly. I think when I threw them, I actually threw them out of bounds, and that's why they died so quickly. Okay, that was the easy part of the fight. Um, I definitely want my powers back before I advance, because there's three Krogan to deal with. Okay, let's go say hi. Sometimes we can get them to come one at a time, or sometimes they don't want to advance past a certain point. We'll see. Oh, you're just right here, huh? Um, damping? Oh, he's coming! Um, thank you, Rex. Rex is down. Where is he? Let's, uh, get Rex back up. You need to go anywhere else. Rex, not helping. Okay, they're stuck on the railing or something. Works for me. Okay, we did it. Rex went down once. Not so bad. Um, don't know why I put my gun away. I need to shoot this transmitter. But there are little upgrade kits around here. All right, shoot this thing. And that's it for the side quests. Now, remember from screw myself over, don't say, oh, and I'll just meet you back at 5 Dan, because there's more geth in the tunnels now, for some reason. So, just down in here, reinforcements. Why am I still using polonium rounds? You know what? I'll fix it in a minute. Just gotta get this sniper here. Okay. Switch ammo, then go back to fight in. But first, let's turn in the side quests. Hello again, Commander. I killed the big Baron. The rest are yours. Excellent. I'll organize a hunt when the immediate threat of the Geth is gone. I get it. I'll get to them. I have to go. Here, for your trouble. It's not much I know, but it's all we can spare. Well, kind of you to hand me a level. Most people can't do that. Nice work with those Geth. Glad you showed up. I still need the power cells for this generator, though. I found these power cells in the tunnels. Are they what you're looking for? I knew they'd turn up eventually. Here, Fidan gave me some requisition money. It's all yours. Where are you looking? I'll have kick these power cells into place. I'll have this colony up and running in no time. And the last one. The water started running not long ago. Thanks to you, I assume. Of course. Now we just need to deal with the get, and we can get back to growing this colony. Here, a few credits for your trip. 
No problem. Alright, first we'll talk about Ian, and then we'll go up on the highway. Commander, what can I do for you? I destroyed a Geth transmitter in the tunnels. They won't be a problem any longer. Thank you, Commander. We're in your debt. You've taken a great weight off my shoulders. I just wish I had such good news for every problem. Let's talk about Zeus, Hope, and Pharos in general. Of course, Commander. Yeah, man in There's the tunnels. There's a guy living down in the tunnels. Is he one of yours? That would be Ian. He's very sick. He seems to be more than just sick. He hasn't been the same since the attack. We tried to help him, but he wouldn't listen to us. I can't help my people if they won't listen, Commander. Don't you have medical supplies? Something to help him? I wish it was that simple. Ian was a good man I'd like to have with us. Please, Commander. I'd prefer not to talk about it anymore. I'll talk Fine. to you and learn more. Good luck, Commander. Let's go blow up some Geth. Alright, kill a drone or two in here. Alright, I think that's all of them. Just the one. Alright, into the Mako. One of the, the greatest tanks to ever tank. We can deal with that. Keep thinking that I'm blowing up the armature, but I'm not. Also, as we've discussed, driving zoomed in, not the greatest idea. Alright, where is the side tunnel for this area? More chatter, Commander Shepard. I still can't get a fix on my location. That time I wasn't even zoomed in. I don't know what my excuse is. Okay, Mako. You're making yourself look, well, like a Mako. And I love you for it. This last one is in the tunnel in here. Yeah. So, where are you? You're both just down here, huh? Alright. That was a little bit of melting my shields faster than I'd like, to be honest. these crates. And then I think that's all that's in here. Yeah. The other one has two different sections. So let's go find that one now. Once I get this tank trap out from under me. God. You can fit under here. Oh, you used to be able to. Anyways. We've got movement. Some kind of vehicle. Not one of the gas. Whoever that is, they must be close to have seen us. They're right here. Forget them. We need to find the gas. No, we need to find a side quest or two. That's close enough. Relax, John. They're obviously not Geth. Get back, Juliana. Who are you? What do you want? Commander Shepard, I'm here to remove your geth problem. You see? You worry too much. And you trust too easily, Juliana. I'm just glad to see a friendly face. I thought we were the only humans left on this planet. 
Fidan and some of the members of Zeus Hope are still alive. I thought you said they were all dead. I said they were probably all dead. They live, though the Geth have devastated their colony. We know what that's like. Those damn synthetics are relentless. I'll do whatever I can to keep them away from you, but I need some information. What kind of information? Ignore him. The Geth are up in the Exogeny headquarters, just a bit further along the Skyway. Those headquarters are private property, soldier. Remove the Geth and nothing else. I'm not interested in your company's secrets. Commander, before you but go... But for the right price. My daughter, Lisbeth, she's missing. They shouldn't waste time poking around. We can do a proper accounting of our casualties after the Geth are gone. That's my daughter you're talking about. She's still alive. I know it. Where's your daughter, Juliana? She was working in the Exogeny building when the attacks came. Oh, yeah, there were several places she could hide. For a short time. If she's in there, I'll get her out. Thank you, Commander. Thank you. Hmm. Don't know how much of this I really need to know. The or after. I have no idea. We certainly haven't found anything of use. Something Exogeny is keen to remind us of. We need to recoup our expenses. It's nothing personal. How did you get split up from the Zeus Hope colony? Most of us live closer to the Exogeny building. Zeus Hope was mostly used as a port. When the Geth hit, we scattered. Until you told us about the others, we assumed they were killed in the first wave. If we had known they were still alive, we might have attempted to join them. They're fairly secure now. Maybe you should do that. No, 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 no. I don't think that's a good idea. We, we have no vehicles, and the Skyway offers little protection. Like the building we're in now? Listen, our best hope is to sit tight and wait for company reinforcements. They'll come eventually. Sure they will. What was the building used for? Oh, yeah, we repurposed that structure to serve as headquarters for Exogeny. That's mostly offices with a number of uh, light-duty R&D labs. Exogeny is a master at repurposing anything and everything. The company has to make a profit somehow, Juliana. Ferris is a long way from self-sufficient. Tell me about the colony. We established ourselves here four years ago. Growth was steady until the attacks. Our biggest challenge has been the lack of resources. There's just so little here of value. Still, we were making a go of it. It was even starting to feel like home. What brought you here? I guess I thought this would be the start of a new life. I wanted to go where I could feel like I was making a difference. Instead, everything we built is destroyed. It's very hard not to lose hope. Stay bunkered down until I find out what the Geth are after. Of course. And until I get Gavin's side quest here. I was hoping you'd have a moment to speak with me. I've got a bit of a problem. What do you need? I need to retrieve some data. It's not a big job, but it pays well. Sounds easy enough. What's the catch? No catch, really. It's dangerous work, but not for someone like you. What is it about you that makes people assume we enjoy being in harm's way? It's not that bad, really. All you need to do is find my console at Exogeny headquarters and drop the data onto this OSD. It's that simple. Yeah, you know, the Krogan guarding the thing. I'll look around if I get the chance. I appreciate it. That data could be worth a lot of money. Of course, this all depends on getting out of here alive. Tell me about the data I'm getting for you. Plans for a few prototype mods? I'm a freelancer. Some of my mods are highly sought after. But why work in the middle of nowhere if your skills are so useful? Maybe I've got a bit of the frontier spirit in me. That, and the alternative is a bit too secure for my liking. Freelancers don't have to worry about security as much, so long as we keep a low profile. Do you have any idea what the Geth were looking for? Uh, that's for smarter men than me to figure out. I have no idea what anyone would want with this room. Time to get moving. Just keep in mind what I say. Alright, back to the tank. So, right outside here. Yeah, I see you. I'm not going to avoid that one. Um, you shooting me? Oh, that's what I was driving into. Cool! 
Is there still another one here? There's still a couple here. Oh, there you are. They're in here, yeah? Yep. Alrighty. Wait. Shut down the comm. We've got incoming gas. Damn it! Shut down the They're down in there. Thank you, other member of Team Shotgun. Yeah, I see you down there. Oh, good strategy. It almost worked. All right, it's still kind of working because I keep missing. Someone? Okay, got it. This is the crate that I was thinking of. And again, I think that there's more than that crate down here. I'll have a look. If there's not, I'll go back to the tank. And I'm back in the tank, so that should tell you how well my search went. Anyways, blow up a couple more armatures. I think there's even some juggernauts. Kind of behind that pipe there. Kind of at a tough angle there, friend. Oh. Driving zoomed in again. Oh, you blew up your pipe. Thanks. Now into Exogeny. Yep, we're being jammed by jumpy bastards that we can just shoot with a tank, so no problem, really. Together quick to move in. Resistance will That's be one. once we are inside. I know there's another rocket trooper. I think I keep missing you. Are you up there? Not anymore, you're not. Okay, that one's dead. And we'll just have to deal with this rocket trooper on foot. As usual. Why do I keep firing when I step out of the tank? Did I actually get you? Yep, I must have got it already. But, first we have to deal with the trap. Um, for this, I think I want the anti-synthetic ammo. Oh, and I have a level up to take care of. All right, let's get this over with. Steel, nothing all that exciting. And then I have to deal with you. Tally. I don't know if damping or sabotage or anything will actually shut this thing down. But, um... Yep, it's trying to target me. Okay. That wasn't too terrible. I mean, Rex went down, but... He'll get up. Right? Okay. There he goes. Alright, time to go hop down the impassable barrier ledge thing. A one -way drop, Commander Shepard. Sure is. Okay, let's go meet Lizbeth.
Let's get shot for a minute. Damn it! I'm so sorry. I thought you were Geth or one of those Baron. You're safe now. But why were you here in the first place? It's my own fault. Everyone else was running, and I stayed to back up data. Next thing I knew, the Geth ship latched on, and the power went out. I was trapped. I, I tried to get out, but the way was blocked. We'll get you out as soon as we find out what the Geth are after. It's not the Geth. It's the energy field they put up. They don't want anyone else getting access to the... I'm here for the Geth. It's very important that I find out what they're after. I don't know for certain, but... I'm guessing they're here for the Thorian. Thorian? What is that exactly? It's an indigenous life form. Exogeny was studying it. What else can you tell me? Do you know where I can find this Thorian? I... I might be able to, but not with those Geth crawling around everywhere. Look, we need to get out of here, past that field. Do you know how we can shut it down? No, not exactly. But I think the Geth ship is powering it. I've noticed the Geth laying power cables everywhere. You could follow those cables, but there's Geth all over the place. Tell me what you know about the Thorium. I really don't know that much about it. I think it's some kind of plant being. I know it's very old. Thousands of years, even. Why do you think the Geth would be interested in the Thorium? It's just a plant. I don't know why the Geth would care. Exogeny was studying it, but I don't think they found anything special. Tell me about yourself. I'm just a research assistant for Exogeny. I came here with my mother. I don't even know if she made it out alive. She's with some others from the colony. She's safe for now. She's alive? Oh, thank God. I thought I was the only one left. Please, Commander, just get that field down so I can see my mother again. Well then, give me your office pass. You stay put. I'll go open some doors. Oh, here, take my ID. This should get you past any locked doors. And now, there's a whole pack of air coming. Let's just hammerhead round all these things off the side there. Alright, that went better than usual. Nice little death pit. Okay, so we go over there. And this time I'll try not to get turned around too badly. First there's just one Krogan here. One Krogan is usually not too bad. Considering the amount of biotics I have right now. It's a great line. Please contact your supervisor for a level 4 security exemption or make an appointment with... Stupid machine! If there is nothing else, please step aside. There is a queue forming behind you for the use of this console. Okay. Damp him. Warp him. That worked. Okay. I'm gonna say that worked okay, and then he's right here charging me. Should be able to get him. Oh, got his first health bar. Got his second health bar. Okay, Krogan, don't mess around. So Jenny Corporation reminds all staff that the discharging of weapons while on company property is strictly forbidden. He started it. Welcome back, research assistant Elizabeth Bainham. What can I do for you? What information was the last user attempting to access? Fetching data. The previous user was attempting to access details on the study of Subject Species 37, the Thorian. Tell me everything you told the Krogan. I was unable to provide the previous user with any relevant data. Aside from lacking proper access, there has been no new data available on Species 37. All sensors monitoring the observation post at Zoo's Hope have been inactive for several cycles. What does Zoo's Hope have to do with the Thorian? Species 37 is located within the substructure of the Zoo's Hope outpost. Tell me everything you know about the Thorian. The Thorian is a simple plant life form that exhibits a sentient behavior uncommon with other flora. 
Through dispersion and the eventual inhalation of spores, it can affect and control other organisms, including humans. The zoo's Hope Control Group has yielded interesting results. Before sensors went offline, almost 85% of all test subjects were infected. Are you saying Exogeny knew its people were getting infected? It was deemed necessary to assess the true potential of Species 37. That's why they were acting so strange. Your pilot should be warned. Joker! Come in, Joker! Damn it! That field's blocking us. We've got to drop that shield and get back to the outpost. VI, what can you tell me about the Geth ship and the field it's generating? I have limited data on the Geth. They have effectively blocked all sensors within the facility. I have detected unusual power fluctuations, but am unable to determine the source. Please access my personal files. Elizabeth Bainham, Research Assistant, Biomedical Division, Security Level 4 Exemption. You are currently under probation due to disagreements with management over established company policy. These sanctions may be lifted if your next evaluation is more agreeable. What triggered the probation? You were marked as combative about the operations of the Zoo's Hope Project, specifically regarding the handling of the infected colonists. As a result, you were tasked with monitoring the safety of the colonists for the duration of the observation. Tell me about the Thorian. Species 37 was discovered several weeks ago when a small team was infected with spores while examining ruins near the Zoo's Hope outpost. The outpost was quarantined immediately and study of the infection began. Within 21 days, 58% of colonists exhibited altered behavior. Within 28 days, 85%. Do you know how the creature controls its slaves? The will subversion manifests as intense pain if directives are ignored. The effect is severe enough that subjects are soon conditioned against even minor thoughts of rebellion. Observation suggests the Thorian views its thralls in a utilitarian way. Care is apparently taken to avoid injuring them, much as a craftsman avoids damaging his tools. As long as no action is taken against the creature's objectives, the subjects are free to pantomime a normal existence until specifically tasked with something. Where's the center of this thing? The Thorian is present as a weave of tendrils across much of the lower surface of Pharos. Observation of enslaved subjects suggests there may be key clusters that are tended by thralls. Unfortunately, direct observation of species 37 is limited or non-existent. Not for long. Is it intelligent? Can I reason with it? The Thorian does not exhibit the focused behavior of a predator. The release of spores is an act of survival, not aggression. It does trigger advanced behaviors in the humans it enslaves, but we have yet to discover whether it recognizes or is capable of recognizing humans as more than tools. It is sufficiently alien as to defy classification at this time. What's the size of this thing? The Thorian appears to be a diffused creature. Its cognitive abilities are centered in large nerve bundles, but it receives data from kilometers of meandering tendrils. We have discovered bundles approximately one meter in diameter, but these seem insufficient to coordinate the massive sensory potential it possesses. It may simply process such stimulation slowly, or perhaps there is a nerve cluster of a greater magnitude we have not yet encountered. I want to know about Exogeny Corporation. Exogeny Corporation is at the forefront of human expansion in the new galactic economy, funding colonial development and securing resource rights to ensure our progress as a species. Further inquiries regarding company policy may be directed to consumer information services during regular business hours. Who's in charge here? Who organized the research? All decisions about local resource analysis and acquisition are made by on-site management deferring to the board of directors only when seasonal quotas are missed or exceeded. Individual employee records are confidential. That's kind of enough That's exposition. Enough Going to standby mode. Alrighty, so then around the corner here, there's a couple of Geth and something kind of interesting. They set up a shrine. Go fight each other in church. Their talking 
hostile, then how do we cut the power if it's coming from the ship? It will be difficult. We can check the other claws for weaknesses, but the Geth are very thorough. Alright, here's their shrine. What is this place? Almost looks like the Geth built themselves some kind of church. The Geth blur the line between organic and synthetic life, so it's natural to assume they seek understanding from a higher power. Yeah, it's definitely worshipping a reaper in these, like, charred, almost suck the life out of kind of human looking things. That's some pretty brilliant foreshadowing. Okay, on we go. Jammed, so jumpies. Make that one ours, Tally. Ollie's charging in. And backing off. Good job. Rex, go over there. Did we get them all? Kinda looks like we got them all. Okay, so... Once again, I don't remember which way is the side quest and which way is the main story, so... Okay, this is the side quest. Let's uh, get a grenade over there, eh? Oh! He didn't take much damage from that. It's kind of like what immunity's for or something, right? Um, I'm in trouble. I need a shield boost. I need a barrier. I need you to go down. You too. My gun actually overheated for once. That doesn't happen often. Just lay all the powers into it. Yeah, like that. Okay. One more. I think. Here he comes! Can I get the lift on him with the momentum? Oh! Good hit! Let's try this again. Same opening. Maybe catch him a bit more in it. Okay, I like that. Okay, you are powering, so let's just take you off the ground for a bit. Okay, you're heavy, so you don't stay off the ground for very long. Cool. Oh, where'd that one come from? Uh, Rex? Need your help here. Oh, I think Tally's dead. <laughs> um, this could be a problem. Just want that one dead. Want that one dead. Okay, that one's dead. That one's on a second health bar. Okay. Let's, uh... Give Rex a minute to regen there. The other one doesn't seem too interested in coming up. Tally, Just if you wouldn't mind. Now you're coming. Tally, can you damp it? How about a little less regen for this one? I'm standing in fire. 
good. Okay, I think we got it. It did still manage to kill Tally, but I live this time. Right, let's grab Gavin's data. Kind of looks like I shot the console. Okay, back to where we need to go. Okay, just a couple. That trooper we can grab. Did they grab the wrong one? Once we grabbed one, I don't really care. Okay, that wasn't too terrible. The next fight can be a little bit tougher. Some test samples, yada yada, Notacrux colony, yada yada. They're all either creeperified or huskified. I think that one's the husks. Same as before, we don't have the ordinance to blow this claw. Let's keep looking. But we have a garage door opener. That music's new. I kind of dig it. Oh, there is you. Okay, we just need to get a throw on him. That'll do it. I took that right to the face. Good, good. Anytime my shield boost wants to go off. No, Rex, you have the right idea. Get down there. Ooh, rocket trooper. That could be trouble. Tally. How about make it our rocket trooper? Maybe. Get off the wall. Okay, one more. I think it's a sniper. Yep. Indeed. Alright, let's just grab these terminals and crates and whatnot, and then we'll do the garage door. Alright, we just gotta get it between 31 and 34. So, which one is it again? Can I ever remember? Let's see. 13, 24, 31. Yep. They made that very pretty. Very good. The field barring the exit will be down. Now we can go deal with the Storian creature. This was my kind of mission. Kill a bunch of geth and end things off with a huge crash. We're not done yet. I hope that ship was full of those geth bastards. I repeat, Normandy to shore party. Are you reading? Anyone there? Normandy to shore party. Come on, Commander. Talk to me. Is that you, Joker? What's going on over there? We're in lockdown here, Commander. Something happened to the colonists. They're banging on the hull, trying to claw their way inside the ship. They're freaking out. They can't do any real damage. We're on our way back. Just hold your position. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, we'll just wait right here for you, Commander. 
This place will be crawling with Geth in a minute. Keep together and we'll get out of here in one piece. I also can't remember if we actually run into any more Geth in this part of the facility. Or if we don't see any more until we get back out on the highway. Either way, let's go find Lizbeth. She's right down by the barrier. And there she is. There you are. We should get out of here. I don't think this place is safe. I need some answers. You knew more about the Thorian than you let on. I... I was afraid. I wanted to stop the tests, but they threatened me. Told me I'd be next. When the Geth attacked, I stayed behind to send a message to Colonial Affairs. I tried to tell them where to find the Thorian, but the power cut before I could send the message. I... I never meant for this to happen. You did what you could. I'll help them if you can tell me where to find the Thorian. The Thorian is underneath Zeus Hope, but the entrance is blocked. The colonists covered it with the freighter just before the Geth attacked. But why are the Geth after the Thorian? What could Saren want with it? Well, it does have unique mind control capabilities. That's what Exogeny was interested in. Normandy to shore party, come in. What is it, Joker? We're getting a lot of Geth comm shatter. Looks like they're headed your way. Thanks for the heads up, Joker. You heard the man. Let's move out. I'm coming with you. I might be able to help. Undo the mess I helped create. All right, we're all just going to stand around and stare, are we? Okay. Back to the Mako. All right, let's go. Well, first find Lizbeth's mother and then kill a Thorian. And we've got Geth. Fair number of them. Two for one there. Alright, just one armature left. No problem. Alright. On to Liz's best mother. Pretty sure I have enough Paragon to sort this out. I think. You can't do this, John. <laughs> Everyone shut up. Uh, let me think. What's going on? You won't get away with this. Get her out of here! Get away from her, you son of a bitch! Lisbeth! Damn it! Come, come out where I can see you! All of you! <sighs> Shepard. Damn it. I knew it was too much to hope to get... <laughs> I found some interesting facts about you in the Exogeny database. I know what you did during the Blitz, but your heroics aren't needed here. We can talk this out. Nobody needs to get hurt. You, you don't understand. It's not that easy. Communications are back up. Exogeny wants this place purged. This is a human colony, Jong. You can't just repurpose us. It's not just you. There's something here far more valuable than a few colonists. You're after the one unique thing Pharos has. The Thorian. The what? It's a telepathic life form living under Zeus' hope. It's taking control of the colonists there. Exogeny knew all along. You won't get away with this, Jong. So you keep saying, but nobody's gonna miss a few colonists. Oh, apparently I don't. So, John's gonna die. You've gone way too far. This ends now. If, if, if that's the way it has to be, heck, come on, come on! Tally just brings up her Omni tool. We don't have enough <laughs> problems. Now we're shooting each other in the back. It's my fault. I knew what was going on, and I didn't do anything. Don't you start. You do good work, and you know it. So what now, Commander? I'll deal with the Thorian, then make sure you're safe. The colonists won't let you near the Thorian. They die first. They're under its control. 
What else am I supposed to do? There's got to be another way. I think there is. You could safely use a nerve agent to neutralize the colonists. Like a gas grenade. Releasing clouds of nerve gas doesn't seem like a particularly good idea. It's not like it's weapons grade. The insecticide we use. Oh, it's just your everyday store brand nerve gas. A neuromuscular degenerator. If their nervous systems are already weakened, it may act as a paralyzing agent. If we must consider it, drop it in a concussion grenade. Sounds good. I'll do what I can. Excellent. Thank you so much, Commander. So yes, in this universe, we will try and save all the colonists. It's really not that hard. Now I just have to talk to... There you are. Any luck finding my workstation out in the ruins? I managed to find the data and transfer it to your OSD. That's very good news indeed. Thank you. I was there anyway. It was the least I could do. Well, I appreciate it. Here, you certainly earned this. Thanks again, Commander. Thanks for the money. Now, let's go back to Zeus Hope. Got some geth right around here. You know, for Joker saying, like, oh, you stirred up a whole mess of guests, there's a lot fewer here now than there were when we first came through here. It's really not that much of a fight. Anyways, on to meet the creepers. Creepy! We have shotguns, though. And you know, that thing was there's a few of them the in this door. No amount of infection could have done that. No hitting the colonists, even if the Thorian makes them fire on us. That's what the gas grenades are for. As you would have it, Commander Shepard. So now we can open this door. Yeah, you can't hurt them until they wake up. I don't know why. Alright, now's a good time to just blow them up. There, yep, there's still more. Where do you go? Right there. And then you are no longer among us. Okay. Yes, I can. Or can I not exit because I'm being shot at? Anyways. So, with this gas grenade, you kind of have to group the colonists up in order to get them the right spot. Alright, I think I got all three on that one. Three or four? Either way, it was a good grenade. Alright, back to the colony. Should be a couple creepers here. But really no problem when you have hammerhead rounds and a shotgun. Whole team of shotguns, in fact. You just stagger them. There's really nothing they can do. They don't have any real physics resistance. All right, now these two are colonists. Did I not get them? 
Okay. That time I got him. Alright, and there's a couple creepers down here. seem a lot more tame than these do. And the gas grenades will work on the creepers, it's kind of an instant kill on them. You want to be careful about doing that in case you uh, think you're gonna run out of grenades. That was a good grenade right there. And there's a grenade box right here. It says upgrade kit, but you just top up your grenades with it. Okay, let all of you go down. And then I can focus on these two. Okay, I think I got them. Yep. How about a heal? How about getting some shields back up? I've got seven grenades, so this really shouldn't be a problem. I can get you. Got that. Got all them. Got all them. Now I gotta get one back there. All right. I think that's all the colonists. Nope, there's one back there. All right, that's all the colonists. All 16 alive. That's a big pile of Paragon points that could have saved Zhang, but what can you do? Sorry if I didn't. Alrighty then. Down into the heart of the Thorian. With the unnecessary cutscene. And a whole big pile of Paragon points for not killing any of the colonists. Okay, I wonder if I can do this first try. I mean, I probably just jinxed myself there, but we'll see. Oh, this got a bit of a creepier facelift. All right, we just need to find this creature and determine what it... What it... Kira, what is that? That does not look like any plant I've ever seen. This may be... Problematic. Invaders, your every step is a transgression. A thousand feelers appraise you as meat, good only to dig or decompose. I speak for the old growth as I did for Saren. You are within and before the Thorian. It commands that you be in awe. You gave something to Saren, something I need. Saren sought knowledge of those who are gone. The old growth listened to flesh for the first time in the long cycle. Trades were made. Then cold ones began killing the flesh that would tend the next cycle. The gift. Flesh fairly given. The old growth sees the air you push as lies. It will listen no more. I won't let you keep your thralls. Release them. Now. No more will the Thorian listen to those that scurry. Your lives are short. 
but have gone on too long. Your blood will feed the Push her over the edge. Got her. Okay. Now just a couple creepers down here. Who's using their pistol? Tali. We are team shotgun. Where'd that other one go? Then this door will open. Did it a little bit there. Oh, there's another one yet. Actually, if I kill this node, I think that should kill that creeper. Yep. Clear. Alright, so there should be another Asari spawning once I get to about here ish. Remember, she's not actually down there. She's gonna spawn up there somewhere. But if I come down here, I could probably push her off the edge again. Yeah, come find me. There she is. She's got a barrier, I think. Okay, that's a bit of a problem. Can we lift her, possibly? Okay. Well, that didn't last nearly as long as I would have liked. Okay, got her, so hard part's over. Yeah, in the face of overwhelming physics damage, creepers aren't that terrifying. Rex, why are you using a pistol? What is everybody doing? And the next node is in here. Honestly, this is a good place for a throw. Oh, didn't quite catch as many as I would have liked. Uh, about a warp, though. Rex, how about your throw? Is that an area? Not quite this time. You know what? Should be all the creepers in this part. The next Asari clone should come. Might have to entice her a bit. Right, she'll be here soon. Now we can probably get her off the ledge. If we pull back. Pull back. To me. There she is. Okay, I will lift her and then Rex, hopefully, she'll be in a position for you to throw. Yep. Okay, I think she just died. Miss more! Okay. How about a sabotage? No, 
another one coming around the corner. Alright, let's go find the next node. Area secured. For now. And I missed that weapons locker, but I'll go back for it in a minute. Okay. Shoot it from here, it doesn't do that much. If we shoot it from here, then those are gonna start waking up. Just need to keep them away for a minute. Okay. Got them. That kills most of them. There's still a couple left. The next clone will be here sooner than later. Where she is really. She's usually here by now. If I shoot across the way, that should get her moving. I think that's her. Yep. Let's back off a bit. Back off a bit. Get her in a nice place to get thrown over the edge. Okay. Tally. Take care of her shields. I'll get her off the ground. Hmm. She's not in the best spot. Well, she's just dead. Let's just go say hi. Just throw this one off the edge too, but it'll die pretty quickly. Not sure what these new screeching noises are that they put into the game, and I'm not sure why those are here. Nope, you do not puke on Tally. All right, so the next node is just in here. And a couple people object to me shooting this. Now, Rex, I think you have the right idea. Why don't you just go in there? out most of them. Still a couple left. Rex! Seriously. Alright, the next clone should come down in a minute. Usually. That got him moving. So she'll be right there. Warped me. She oh good job, Rex. Perfect spot. I think Rex actually just flat out killed her. They felt kind of funny. this medical station real quick and then move on. Oh, there's the clone. Come on, come up here. Seriously, what are these mechanical noises? Is she 
she's stuck? What's she doing? What's going on down here? There you are. Um, just need you off your feet for a minute. Okay, she's really not that tough compared to the original. Or is there? Yep, there she is. Got her. Hard part's pretty much over. Except for when Rex blocks my sight because he's huge and we love him. Oops, put my gun away. Because that used to be the grenade button. I should thank you for releasing me. Is everything all right? Are you hurt? I am fine, or I will be, in time. My name is Shiala. I serve, I served Matriarch Benezia. When she allied herself with Saren, so did I. Benezia foresaw the influence Saren would have. She joined him to guide him down a gentler path. But Saren is compelling. Benezia lost her way. Are you saying Saren can control minds? Benezia underestimated Saren, as I did. We came to believe in his cause and his goals. The strength of his influence is troubling. She tried to manipulate Saren, but in the end, her plan backfired. Asari matriarchs are among the most intelligent and powerful beings in the galaxy. How could one fall under Saren's control? Saren has a vessel, an enormous warship unlike anything I've ever seen. He calls it Sovereign. It can dominate the minds of his followers. They become indoctrinated to Saren's will. The process is subtle. It can take days, weeks, but in the end, it is absolute. I was a willing slave when Saren brought me to this world. He needed my biotics to communicate with the Thorian to learn its secrets. Saren offered me in trade. I was sacrificed to secure an alliance between Saren and the Thorian. Saren's pretty quick to betray his own people. He was quick to betray the Thorian, too. After he had what he wanted, he ordered the Geth to destroy all evidence of its existence. Saren knows you are searching for the Conduit. He knows you are following his steps. He attacked the Thorian so you could not gain the Cypher. What's the Cypher? And why did Saren need it? The beacon on Eden Prime gave you visions. But the visions are unclear, confusing, they were meant for a Prothean mind. To truly comprehend them, you must think like a Prothean. He must understand their culture, their history, their very existence. The Thorian was here long before the Protheans built this city. It watched and studied them. When they died, it consumed them. They became a part of it. So the Thorian taught Saren to think like a Prothean. How? The Cypher is the very essence of being a Prothean. It cannot be described or explained. It would be like describing color to a creature without eyes. To understand, you must have access to endemic ancestral memory, a viewpoint spanning thousands of Prothean generations. I sensed this ancestral memory, the Cypher, when I melded with the Thorian. Our identities merged, our minds intertwined. Such knowledge cannot be taught, it simply exists. So it stands to reason that the Thorian had Prothean thralls at some point too. I need that knowledge to stop Saren. There is a way. I can transfer the knowledge from my mind to yours, as I did with Saren. Try to relax, Commander. Slow, deep breaths. Let go of your physical shell. 
Reach out to grasp the threads that bind us, one to another. Every action sends ripples across the galaxy. Every idea must touch another mind to live. Each emotion must mark another's spirit. We are all connected. Every living being united in a single glorious existence. Open yourself to the universe, Commander. Embrace eternity. <laughs> So we learned a lot, and that was also functionally getting like second and third base within Asari, so yay all around. I have given you the cipher, just as it was given to Saren. The ancestral memories of the Protheans are part of you now. What was that? Commander Shepard, are you alright? I saw... something. It still didn't make any sense. You have been given a great gift. The experience of an entire people. It will take time for your mind to process this information. You look a little unsteady, Commander. Perhaps you should return to the Normandy. I am sorry if you have suffered, but there was no other way. You needed the Cypher. In time, it will help you understand the vision from the Beacon. Um... Let's see. I know all of this, or at least I will soon enough. Is there anything else you can tell me about the Thorian? When the creature enveloped me, I became part of it, but I still don't truly understand it. So alien, so ancient. Its exact age is impossible to know. It measured time differently. 10,000 years of hibernation broken by a few frantic centuries of activity. Its mind was awesome, magnificent. It transcended all classification. And now it is gone. Don't tell me you feel sorry for that thing. The Thorin was a unique life form. A sentient being that lived for 50,000 years, maybe more. There is nothing even remotely like it in the known galaxy. I am grateful you saved me from a life of thraldom. Yet I cannot help but feel some sorrow for the loss of such a rare and remarkable creature. I want to know more about you. There is nothing remarkable about me. I was merely one of Matriarch Benezia's disciples. For nearly two centuries, I followed her, learning at her feet. When Benezia revealed her plan to join Saren, she gave her disciples a choice. Only those who were willing had to follow her. Many felt her plan was too dangerous, but I believed in her. I thought she could turn Saren away from his insanity. Instead, we joined him in it. Now that you're free of the Thorian, what are you planning to do next? If you allow it, I would like to stay here with the colonists. They have suffered greatly, and I played a role in their suffering. I would like to make amends. I think that's a great idea, because we will see you in the next two games. The colonists will need all the help they can get. They'll be happy to have you on their side. Thank you, Commander. May fortune smile upon you. And then we get ported straight into a conversation with... It. Yeah. With the Thorian gone, we can start rebuilding for ourselves again. And we're free of Exogeny's threats. We're back to being just a little nowhere colony. Thank you, Commander. Alright. We saved everybody, except for John. But, you know, these things happen when you're a dick. Um, anyway, that's enough for now. We will see you next time.